That's gone for four. A fortuitous boundary it was, but three of us have been bowled. Darren Goff is not impressed. India nine for no wicket. Beautifully played. Clipped it off his hip. And that's running down the hill for four. Oh. That is beautifully bowled. That is an awesome delivery from uh, Stephen Armisen. He's gone right through VVS Lakshman. He came down on it, but came down late. Heard the sound of timber behind him. And that is uh, just so inspirational for England. Well, it's a gorgeous delivery right up there in the block. Or what is disappointing that he missed it because I was just mentioning that Ganguly's had a few Yorkers. So if at non-striker's end he's seen the bowler bowling Yorkers at Ganguly, he should have been ready for that. Oh, he's launched into that. He has launched into that, and that is a colossal hit. Where did that come out of? Just out of nowhere, literally. Squared himself up, and he has smashed that ball for six. Down the ground, over the top, and that'll do for four. Go, go, go! Well, that is ridiculous. As soon as Ganguly hit it, it was pretty much straight to the fielder. There was no run there. There was no run. Mohamed Kaif is a good runner between the wickets. There's no way he was going to respond. It was straight to the fielder. So I'm thinking Sura was at fault. Well, he's hit it just a little bit wide. Oh, not even wide. And the fielder mis misfielded. But he had all the time in the world to pick it up. And poor Mohamed Kaif making the walk back to the pavilion. It's 46 for two. Another one goes down, Sabag hasn't batted down the order for some time and doesn't give him, himself a chance to get in once again. Catch it. It's a big one, it is a big hit by the Indian captain. 50 partnership brought up by the six. Swept away. That's going all the way for four as well. And he's gone inside out and struck it well. That's a good hit by Sarah Bengali. Oh, that's up in the air and it will clear the ground. Indian captain falls 10 short of what would have been his 23rd century and Harmison has got his man. They're over the top, it would have cleared Michael Vaughan at mid-wicket but uh, it's a shame, really fine innings comes to an end. Shot. It's a no ball and it's a boundary for Raul Dravid, his first. It's taken him 30 singles and 69 balls before he's hit a boundary. Yeah. I like your Welsh better. That's a lovely reverse sweep. Finally, he's got it right in the gap. Oh. It's going to be out. Yuvraj perishes. Alex War gets his man. And Yuvraj looking for the boundary on the leg side. Becomes another England victim. Yeah, and this is my worry, that he, that he has to start playing big shots... Uh, too soon really drive it on 49 well drive it half century well it's been a hard working and the most difficultly crafted half century oh he's got the edge he's got the edge up goes the finger afraid it's been a brief uh, sojourn for young Dinesh Kartik up against one of the best bowlers in the world today and he set it up so beautifully did Harmison denied him the single left the onside open and uh, the moment he knew he was going to bowl a slow ball he took gully out left that area open for him to play the shot straight in straight in he is looking bemused but he does tend to play the ball with an obtuse angle the back face facing to slice the ball in the air in that area for Darren Goff with this there it is, a simple catch to the England skipper Michael Warren. And it's 182 for six. 
Now then. Fielder coming underneath it. Pretty regulation catch. Ball in. Leg stump gone out of the ground. India haven't lost in the 50 overs, but they came pretty close to doing so. Rolled out for 204. It's been uh, a pretty sad batting display from India. Edged and straight in. India get the breakthrough. Entering that Lord's average. Trescothic was lured into the shot. In good shape from Nera. Just doing enough. A little bit. And a good edge for India. And this is in the air. It's going to go straight down Harbhajan Singh's throat. So a good let off for India. But this is pretty convincing. And he's found the fielder. And the, look where the fielder is. Hunter actually a good three yards inside the circle. He might have struggled had he been on the line. So Vikram Solanke is out for nine. And India got a double break here. 22 for two. It's got him this time. Celebrations all round. India are on a high. Strauss is walking back. He's got two test centuries here this season against New Zealand and then against uh, West Indies and that is right in front. Only two this time to Strauss, 27 for three. He's given it this time. Irfan Patan has struck. McGrath has gone. Well, this time the ball's come back. we have kissed the top of the off stump and that's exactly what Hawkeye is showing gets the top of the off stump this is top bowling top comeback by India in this game four wickets down now for 29 who it's in the air but he's flicked it away with enough power for four that's uh, hard luck on Ashish Nira might well have taken another wicket oh that's well done that is extremely well done well the Indians on fire that is terrific cricket it's a really quick thinking good hands the short leg fielder made this batsman going down the pitch look at that picks it up quick chips it in oh that's brilliant cricket you can see that as many times as you want and that is really alertness on the fielders part fantastic cricket Collingwood gone for four, 48 for five. And well, that's well played. <laughs> that is a magnificent shot for six. Mm. Well, that's uh, what Jeffrey was saying. He is confident. Now the track in the air and taken. That is a very good catch by Sevar. The ball was dying on him. And the dangerous Jones has been dismissed by Harbhajan. And he doesn't need to if he keeps hitting them like that. Something for him in his strength area, on his legs. And that is a quality cricket shot. There's a 50 for Michael Vaughan come off uh, exactly a hundred deliveries it's been that kind of day enough bad on that and we'll go for four couple here in fact it's four what a very well played stroke catch it Catch it, he's got it. Halberjan takes the wicket with a full toss. Look at this. Look at a gentle little full toss. Oh, thank you very much, he said. I've had enough batting. Well, is that the breakthrough for India? Ashley Giles departs for a very well played 39. His highest score in one day cricket at England now. 154 for seven. Boys, we've got him, got him. He must go and ask the umpire a fantastic piece of keeping by Dinesh Kartik. I think he's out. We'll have to wait for the replay, I think. No, he's going. He's walking. He's gone. 
Whoa, what a stumping. Is he going to go? It's got to go, surely. It's got to go. It must go. Get the bails off. Oh, yes, he's gone. I told you. What a bit of luck you need. Well done, Harvey Jensen. Brilliant stumping, that, though. It will be the first victim behind the stumps for Dennis Karthik in international cricket, and it will be the England captain, Michael Vaughan. That is a terrific piece of keeping. He's actually taken the stumps, taken the bails off with a backhand. Look at that. That is a fantastic piece of agility behind the stumps by the 19-year-old. And if the third umpire doesn't give him out, Alan, there'll be a riot. There won't be a riot. Michael Vaughan is out. England's chances have just taken a massive dent. Michael Vaughan gone for 74. Oh, he goes for the big one. There is no gone. But that's well struck. Extremely well struck for six. That's a meaty blow from the big man, Alex Worf. And if I was say, well, toss it up again. That's in the air. And should be taken. Karthik gets the opportunity. He makes no mistake. Side it a little too late in the series. They're going to go down, but to finish the third with a win, win is exactly what they needed. And they were up against it, only scoring 204. It's been a very big effort from India. 166 for nine. Oh, that's well struck. Six. That's the shorter side. So Darren Goff has got a chance his arm now with just one wicket left. There's one thing you know with Goffey. He will be believing he can do this for his country. He's not going to hold back because he can't. The run rate's still at nine. Hold him. Let's stump out of the ground. India win. But England win the series. But have a look at this Indian team. They were outplayed in the last couple of games but they've shown a lot of fight today after batting poorly and making 204